Um. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of mom guilt when I leave my son. Like now, you know, I need to talk about this so that I can help you people. But anyways, when I leave, he cries. So I was thinking, what are ways that I can help my son when I leave the room? Oh, I'll get a blow up doll, which I did. I mean, they only, you know, the only ones they had in stock were naked. So there's obviously a market for, I guess I could just show up. I could be there for him, but who has the time, you know? So anyways, I got this woman who is, you know, there's a lot to say. I guess these are inflatable. What I like about this is that she does have small boobs, so it's realistic. Like, he did think this was me. Um, I mean, she's kind of hot. Anyways, I got these dolls and I was reading the reviews on Amazon for these dolls and they were like so um, disgusting, should I say? Because they were written by, yeah, men. Um, because no women, I'm apparently the only woman who thinks to get a blow up doll. I haven't reviewed it yet though. Um, maybe I will. Anyways, the reviews were like pretty sick. But then the one guy was like super romantic about it. You know, these are like their friends. And he was like, oh, she has beautiful eyes. Just beautiful eyes. Like he's looking at her eyes while he's... <laughs> There's another guy who was like, oh, um, well made but hard to clean. Like, I don't even know what he had to clean because it's plastic, you know. Um, and there's no holes. So I think he cut out a hole in her. A lot of them had like open mouths, with, you know, which was pretty disturbing. And my husband was like, oh, I, if I were to get one, hypothetically, I would want just the torso, you know, the girls like bent over. Um, and I was like, no, if you're getting a fake woman, I want you to look deeply in her eyes like these other romantic men are doing. And then you can, once you feel that sense of shame, I won't be as jealous, you know. Um, let's